Hi everyone, Matt Metzger here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to another episode of the ABI Dirt. Today is our third episode in the mini series that's comparing the TR3 and the TR3E series. And today we're taking a closer look at the leveling blade. Now, for those of you who are very astute or who have been with us for a couple of months now, you're thinking, wait, didn't you already talk about the leveling blade? And yes, I did, but I forgot a couple of things. I'm not perfect. Don't tell my wife, but it's true. I'm not perfect. So today, I'm going to go back to the Tier 3 and the Tier 3E series, take a look at the level blades on both unit, see how they're the same, see how they're different, and see what that means for you when it comes to actually dropping them in your dirt. So let's take a closer look. Let's start with a quick note on the idea of leveling your surface. If you are working with soil, you most likely want to have a level finished surface when you're done with the project. Whether it's horse arenas, gravel driveway, new lawns, or new build sites, you know that every undulation, every high spot and low spot is going to be felt by somebody at some point in time. So you need to make sure you've got a level contour to your surface. Now, up until we designed our patented leveling blade, you had to be a master operator in order to level out your highs and lows while maneuvering your tractor, while dodging obstacles, while keeping an eye on the overall grade of your project. But for those of you who weren't born on the seat of a tractor, this auto leveling feature of this drag bar allows you to, as you're running your material, allows you to grab your highs, drop them into your lows without as much conscious effort. Now, if you were born on the seat of a tractor, great. Now you've got the ability to achieve consistent results, even if you are the one to get off the tractor and delegate the job to a crew member. A few weeks ago, we posted a thorough walkthrough on the design, the innovation, the functionality of the TR3 leveling blade. Today, we're just gonna take a look at the comparison between the TR3 and TR3E series, but don't miss out on that thorough walkthrough. You can find that video by clicking here or by taking a look in the description below. We'll start with the TR3. Because the TR3 is designed for commercial and heavy property use, you'll see that this level drag bar is three quarter inch thick, fully welded all the way across, and it is a beast. Even on this small six and a half unit, it is 150 pounds, scales on up with the size of your unit. As you are moving forward in your material, material builds up on that front face, the material comes to a high spot, pushes this blade up, and then because this is so heavy, as that material finds a low spot, the blade pushes it down, causing that leveling functionality. Now, if you wanna get really aggressive with your leveling, you'll see here on these support arms, these control arms, you've got pins that you can pop in right above the arm, right here, to pin that level drag bar down, making it a really aggressive pull. At that point, you've basically got the equivalent of a box blade underneath your TR3. Now you'll notice as we swing around front here, you've got these wing plates on either side that helps keep your material inside of your unit so it's not spilling out the side. You'll also see down below that there are blades that are 11 inches wide, bolted fast to the drag bar arm. That means when you do need to replace them, which you won't have to very often because they're abrasive resistant steel, it's really easy to do so. Those blades also give you extra weight on that drag bar. One fun option you've got on the TR3 is the upgrade to swinging rock teeth. This option is ideal for anyone who leverages the TR3 to clear debris and finish soil for a seedbed. The swinging rock teeth give you more bite as you grab into debris and because they swing out of the way when you're operating in reverse, you can use the TR3's finish rake to move your debris pile without the rock teeth getting in your way. You can see right away in the tier 3 e series that we lightened the level blade up a bit. Remember, the tier 3 e series is specifically designed for your compact and subcompact tractors, so it doesn't have quite the same muscle that your tier 3 line has. So you can see, rather than opting for one massive welded <laughs> drag bar that runs the width of the tool, that we actually opted to use the level blade itself as the material polar. So you've got the level blade here that bolts into your support arms, and these support arms then pin into the front frame of the TR3 E-Series, just like over on the TR3. You still have all of the same adjustability. You still have the ability to put pins down in to lock in this blade so you can pull more material, and you still have the reclamation wings here on the side to keep as much material as possible inside of the blade. No matter what your project is, leveling the surface is likely one of the most important steps in the process. It's too bad it's also one of the most finicky and time-consuming <laughs> steps in the process. But whether you're a master operator or a novice or somewhere in between, this auto-leveling drag bar on the TR3 line of tools takes out a lot of the guesswork and a lot of the hand rake work to save you time and to help you get on to other projects. 
That's all we've got for today, everyone. Hope you found the information beneficial and helpful. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Tell all your friends if you want more information about the TR3 and TR3E series. Keep in touch. Until next time, take care.